<laughs> All right, Bob, tell us what's going on here. So I'm with Mickey and Miles. Like being so so dramatic. It's that yeah. You said <laughs> Miles is being so dramatic. Yeah, and you might see the elemental box. This is Zippy. We got him about a year ago. He's a Robo Dwarf hamster. All right. So what we've learned is. Almost every hamster cage that you can buy on the market is absolutely terrible for hamsters. So we had to make our own out of a bin. When we go out and we, and we might see, have you see and stumble, but not in the same habitat as Right, now. right, why do hamsters have to have their own habitats with no buddies? Because if we are in the same place, one will like the other. Yep. And we don't want a dead hamster. Yeah, we don't want any hamsters to beat up or kill the other hamsters. So that's why they each get their own space. No Hmm. Yeah, no we want to take care see. of our babies. Okay. Hey, Zippy All right. Me, by the way. Yep, Luke is Zippy's favorite human. <laughs> he doesn't like any of the rest of us. Um, probably because Miles is wild, and I'm the one that has to give Zippy checkups. So he doesn't like that either. Here are some treats. This is the only way we found that you can kind of tame a robo is if it is food motivated you can sneak in a couple pets um here we have some sort of chew stick that we've never bought before um so we're giving it a try we've got a uh rat and mouse pellet um that is supposed to be good protein i think and then we've got some freeze-dried mealworms that is a good treat only oh he's trying to crawl on me hey here, silly. And and the worms are like like candy for the hamster. Oh yes. Yep. We call the worms, the dried mealworms, a hamster hot dogs because they're not really healthy, but they find it delicious. You want to get a couple pets in secretly while you can. Oh, that's not. There we go. See, he only like Bob. If the rest of us try to pet, he gets real upset. Okay. We will keep up my hands around. Actually, Zippy will get out. He will have me. Yeah, he, he likes, likes Bob. Me. I think that why my mom put it much way near me. Mm -hmm. If he escapes, we will never have him. <laughs> we can never find him. We can never get him back in his enclosure. So Luke, is he easy to pick up? No. Where'd he go? Have you ever actually successfully picked him up? No, I need my mom to help me with that. Yeah, I have some tips and tricks on how to hold a robo hamster. Hey, All right, so tip and trick number one get a teacup or a very small box that you can kind of trick the hamster to get into. Here we just happen to have a, a Happy Meal box. Happy box, I call it. And you can, if you can't get them to just go in on their own, you can trick them in by putting the snack in there and then voila, I have a portable hamster. Now, he does not like that very much, so I'm gonna let him back out. Okay. That is his favorite spot to be in. That like a zippy monster. That's funny. Okay. Okay. Here we go. He likes me. Hi, zippy. Oh. <laughs> you want to be picked up? Oh. What do you want, Zippy? Do you like being on me? Is that what? Do you want to be on me? He is doing a stress behavior 
going on the side of the enclosure that shows that he wants out of here. Okay, he might get here. He might need to be held by me. Alright. So the other get, tip is if you can get them to go into a tunnel type thing, you can put your hands on both sides like this. Now I have him trapped and I can gently but strong hands grab him under his belly. So his butt is supportive. You can hear he doesn't like that right now. Yeah. But you can see I've got his whole body supported. Don't want him to fall at all. You can hear he's really upset because he doesn't like being held right now. But I want to make sure his whole body's safe. Okay. We got you. And now we're going to put him back in his enclosure so that he's not upset. Yeah. All right. So notice while I'm transporting, I have his whole body firmly held so he doesn't feel squeezed, but he also does not feel um, like he's going to get dropped or loose. We have him in a bin cage that I made so that he would have lots of space because the ones that the store sells you is definitely not even close to the right amount. This enclosure that we have is a minimum. Um, it is, it's actually the old minimum of the 70 by 40. Uh, the different humane groups have said that the, the new minimum should actually be 50 by 100. So, um, and that's in centimeters. I also have the inches equivalent listed above that. And I'm, I, I don't go on Zippy's habitat things. Yep, you gotta be very careful about what kind of things you buy for a hamster. Um, for example, most hamsters cannot have this kind of chewable log because it's made of sawdust, but luckily he doesn't really try to chew this one. So we um, have left it in and just made sure he hasn't chewed on it. His wheel is a nine inch wheel. You gotta make sure that the wheels are nice and big so that they can not have to bend their back to run. I'm going to put the food right up there. Yep, we'll actually pull this off so we get a little more light in the video. And, you, and we, we should be able to let you see the others. Yep. This is actually kind of our zoo setup because we have Zippy down here. And Zippy is our robo dwarf hamster that we have had this video on. We'll do another video about Gerald, our Syrian hamster. And this is his palace. And then over here is Combo, the Russian dwarf's enclosure. Press like, like if you like the names. And also subscribe I've, and and make sure you subscribe and like to every video that you can. We have the wheel is appropriately large so we don't hurt his back. We have the enclosure is the old minimum for dwarf hamsters. And then the one thing we are kind of on purpose breaking the rule about is hamsters really should have uh, anywhere from eight to 10 inches of bedding um, so it should be very very deep um, but because Zippy actually has a boo-boo that he had to go to the vet about um, we have his bedding super uh, shallow so it's easy to catch him and give him a daily checkup also he don't made a hole Hello, Zippy. there he is he's a good little burrowing baby and you might see the mystery eggs, eggs and bacon. Okay, if you see the bacon, then like, and if you see the egg, subscribe. And make sure that uh, you like and subscribe anytime else. When he heals up, we will make the bedding much deeper again, like it used to be. But like we said, it's just shallow, so it's easy to catch him and give him a checkup right now. All right, so I'm getting him caught. Okay. And then I want you to look at his little mouth. We can see this little boo-boo that the vet said is not hurting him, but we just got to keep an eye on it. Because if it 
if it um, gets bigger, then he needs surgery. Um, but if it gets smaller, then he's fine. Yeah, that that's what we need. So, oh, oh, like and subscribe. Bye-bye. Make sure you like and subscribe to our other videos.